Good morning, Nigerians. Good morning, our subscribers of All Grant in Nigeria. Good morning to all UAAG subscribers. Good morning to my great CEOs. Good morning to all my executives, both at the national level and at the state levels. Good morning to all elders council. Good morning to all wonderful fighters who are fighting a just fight. There are fighters that has no group, that has no name as per, that are individually fighting to see that the masses are happy. I greet you all. This is the voice of Ambassador Dr. Pascal Anyang, the national president of all CEOs. I'm coming your way this morning, being the first day of the month of June 2024. At my time, this is 13 minutes past 6 a.m. I'm speaking to you as a leader, a leader that has foresight, a leader that is standing for his people, a leader that don't talk because others are talking, a leader that is not confused, a leader that is not biased, and a leader that has focus. I don't rant, I don't make so many noise. I come your way this morning because the month of May has gone. Because of what? We have been hearing so many excuses ranging from the Our Grand Pressure Group and the UAAG management. And also it has come to our notice that this whole noise and these so excuses are not just because it's for me and for you, but because it is for their own interest, which I have verified will never pay us any good. It's not for our good at all. They hear me and hear me well. We the CEOs, the major stakeholders here, we no longer keep quiet. We no longer fold our hands. We no longer begin to watch some individuals truncating and dragging us backward, making us suffer and making us share tears on a daily basis. Just because they want it the way it will suit them. But hear me very well now. We are out and nothing will take us back. We are out to put smiles on the faces of all CEOs. All CEOs have suffered. There is no CEO that has not suffered, except for some few who are taking us as money-making machines, who are taking us as ATM, who are taking us as bank desk, where they go submitting their checkbooks and their tellers for withdrawal and money keep flowing into their accounts. But I want to tell you all this, that enough is enough to all this nonsense and all this rubbish. Great CEOs, all over the 36 state of Nigeria. We own the grant, nobody owns it. If not for us, nothing like grant community, nothing like any grant at all. So I want you all, 
my great CEOs, all my national executive and state executives, and all members of association of all CEOs listening to me. And wherever you are now, what I want you to be doing is mark the left, mark time, left, right, left, right. Before the end of this voice note, I will tell you forward march to our destination. Because I have heard a lot, so many write-ups, so many this, so many that. All these are useless in as much as we, the CEOs, are concerned. The time we are subscribing, all these stories, we are not there. The only story we heard was there is money to give to us. And we are committed to the core, to making sure that this money comes. Whatever we are asked to do, we do. Not looking back. With the hope that our time for financial liberation has come. So many committed a lot of things that today they are crying. So many things that today they can't even eat in their homes. So many things that today their children are at home, not in the school. So many things that their homes have been taken away from them. So many things that all they have has been taken away. Pens here and there, are gone here and there. Many in the hospital, many have died. Many are critically in bad state of health. And these guys, these people are heartless to the extent that as we talk, they are busy doing nonsense. Things can, that can never make us happy. Things that will keep provoking our minds all the time. Things that will make us to keep shouting and crying, accusing each other, pointing at each other, doing this and doing that. Let me tell you people, all these, your tricks, we know them. Before you become a leader, as you claim to be, we all have been on that seat. Greater seat than those seats people think you are sitting upon. We have been there. I never see where you see somebody standing in and you want to, by all means, push the person away. Hinder the success of the general public. Let me tell you this. If you cook for us the masses, we eat it, lick the pot, and they wash it and keep. But if we cook for you, no matter the strength you have, you will not eat it water. You don't even start it at all. We are out to make sure we cook for you to eat. You don't see how far you will go in eating what all of us cooks for you. But for the gullible ones who felt it is coming now to start defending rubbish and useless things, well, that is your own business and your own cup of tea. Because we, the CEOs, we no longer listen to all these jargons you guys are speaking. I don't, I'm not after all those nonsense. Look at all your platforms. Have you heard my voice? Have you heard me talk? I talk when it is necessary because I'm a leader. I talk when it is important because I'm a leader. You guys have toyed with our emotions enough. You have toyed with our brains enough. You have put us all in a, in a dramatic state enough. Let me tell you guys, all this, your grammars and all this, your, your nonsense talks has come to stop. And let me tell you, no matter what you're saying, you can no longer hide yourself from anywhere. Now, listen to me, my all CEOs. All CEOs, if you like, run away. If you like, be gullible. If you like, shy away. If you like, try to claim innocent. If you like, try to claim whatever you want to claim. That is not Ambassador Dr. Pascal's business. Because internationally, I'm a leader. At the national, I'm a leader. Come to a local level, I'm a leader. I am an, I'm, a, I'm a grassroots leader. A leader that cares for his people. A leader that wants the good of his people. Take a little step up and go and ask my national executives, ask them what is the result so far that the CEOs has made. They will tell you tremendously, we have made effort that you guys have not made for how many years. All we hear is story from, upon stories. We hear this, we hear that. And you guys still have the guts 
to come out and start defending yourselves. Come out and start saying this, I can't start saying that. Who says so? Who does that? Let me tell you all. All CEOs, we have all it takes. And I want you now to listen to me and listen good. You see, all this ranting and all this noise making, we have to stop. I want you all, please, listen to me, all my leaders, all the CEOs, get me vital information I need about these people who think they are, they are little gods controlling and toiling the emotions of the masses. Please, what I need, listen to me now, is their information. I've been working, I've been moving here and there to making sure that solidly we get what we want to make sure that these people are silenced and we're going to do that. Wherever you are, be marking yourself time, be preparing yourself. If you want to think of running, that's good for you. We own the ground. If you want to fly away, it's good for you because we own everywhere. We are monitoring, our eyes are open against you all because you have you have you have toiled over us. I'm not interested in hearing all these jargon speakers are speaking. I'm not interested in any one of them. What I'm interested is the pain in the life of my people, the pain in the families of my people, the pain you have cost us. That's what I'm interested on. And that that belongs to us is what I want. Nothing more, nothing less. All these grammars, I don't want to hear them. All these jargons, I don't want to hear them. Now all CEOs will listen to me. Monitor these guys because I've been discussing with my authorities. We want to start picking them one after the other. We want to send messages to them one after the other. They'll be coming to answer us questions. And that question will be on air in the public. Once we arrest you, you come and speak to us in the public. The world will hear you talk. And if you don't say the truth, people who are going to answer you will be standing by. All those truth sayers, all those people that are there saying the truth, speaking the voice of the masses, I want you all to get ready. Those who have evidences to speak against these guys, these people, please get yourself ready and get back to me. All of you should get back to me. But I want to tell you, as for the expectation, relax your minds. Something good is fishing. Something good is coming. Yes, it has delayed at the cost of selfishness and all the rest of them. But as at yesterday, yes, I was in communication. By his grace, by his grace, we all are going to smile and be happy. We who laugh last, we are going to laugh the best. And those who failed, we have made them rich. We have made them big boys and big women. I said, we are going to take back what we have given to them. It would have been fine if they allowed peace to reign. And whatever we are giving to them, we just let it go that way. But since they don't want us to have peace, they don't want us to have happiness, that change they are taking will be returned back. I will not let anything they collect from my CEOs, the major stakeholders of this whole grant, to just go that way. It will not go. Please help me, all of you, the Tennessee State Executives, all my national executives, all my tax force team, all the security team, and all the committees, the disciplinary committees, and all the committees on grant. I want you all to put your eyes now on them. Get me the vital information I need, their names, their addresses, and whatever. Get it to them, get them to me, and let them, let me see whether there are a difference between leader and the leaders. Another kind of man, that kind of person you people think will just be there ranting and making the hell of noise. I'm not part of that. I am okay wherever God has keeping me. And I'm eating. I'm not hungry. All of, the, all of you know, those who know me know I am not hungry. And I will never be hungry. I will never, and I will never depend on the grant money for now. But that grant money must come. It must come. I'm a man with vision. I'm a man that has focus. I'm a man that knows where I'm going to. I'm not gullible. I'm not a man who was off, useless, empty words can push to do whatever. No. You have, I've heard all of you. I've listened to all of you. You all the noise I make, I have listened to all of them. I never see anyone that is reasonable. It is only few, only few that are reasonable. Those few that are reasonable, listen to me. If you hear me, call me. 
if you hear me, reach me. And uh, by next week, we are entering. If you want to support, call upon me. We are going to humbly plead to this government of Bola Ahmed Tinubu to hearken and to listen to the voice of the masses. Because I know he has given order that every grant be disbursed. Every grant be disbursed. Not only UAG grant, but all grant be disbursed to the masses. Now we are going to plead to him. And we are going to appreciate him and congratulate him also. We are going on air, on a press conference, on a solidarity press conference, on appealing press conference, to let them know that we are all aware. But for the past time, there are some few individuals who kept us in the dark. We have been talking about our emotions. We are going to put stop to all these propagandas and all this getting up and saying this and saying that. We are going to tell them, tell authority, never again to listen to anybody coming against our disbursement, coming against our UAG disbursement. Any man or woman they see coming up for such should be arrested. Any man or woman they see coming against anything again regarding to this disbursement should be apprehended until further notice. We are coming out to prove to them the difference between I am a leader, I am a this, I am a that, and the real leaders. Really, that don't make noise. Really, that don't talk anyhow. Really, really, that don't just come and begin to sabotage the effort of her followers. I have seen we have all these years wasting our time. We are wasting our time because I see no fruit on all the time we are wasted on all this whole thing. Yes, I have seen no result at all. But then, masses, be rest assured, there are money is coming. Be rest assured that we'll collect this money. Be rest assured that nothing. Nothing will stop us collecting this money. I've been in contact, I've been in communications. Everything is fine by the grace of God, and our money must come. So, if they don't round up, since they couldn't round up yesterday, Friday, let us watch them from Monday. But still, we are coming out to still add our voice to pleading to the federal government of Nigeria, led by President Bola Ahmed Tinubu, to help us to hear our cry. To see that Miramasis are into so many dangers. They are facing a lot of hard time because of these grants. They have they have been robbed. They have been seriously robbed to the extent that so many families can no longer eat. We are going to plead. Please, if you want to support, you call on me. Because I don't come on air. We are not interested on people's money, but we want to just do the right thing at the right time. So that this money will not come out this week by the grace of God. So that it will come out. Get us every vital information we need. All the lawyers in the house, listen to me. Call me. Let us put hands together. All the officers in the house, call me. Let us put hands together. Let you join my own security team. Let us now tell these enemies of the masses that enough is enough. They cannot continue to talk about emotions. All the task force teams, all the teams of security men, soldiers in our house, majors in the house, listen to me. Once you are hearing my voice now, call me. All the diasporas, call me. Let us fence our home. Let us fence our house. Because we cannot be here and something we have worked for we just pass through our nose and go away. No, it will not. We must get it. And it's our time to get in it. <laughs> yes, let us appreciate, in a very special way, our own country director, Apostle Professor Dr. Ken Wakama. Yes, whether you like it or not, we have been convinced long ago that he is the man to disburse his money to us. Whether you're coming back now to tell us stories or not, it's no, it's no longer my business. My business is we all are facing UAAG. Everybody are facing UAAG. There's no disappointment in there. Our own country director, the man in charge, please let us all come out and support him for disbursement to come to us. Let us all come out and support him for disbursement to come. Because it is going to be very bad that we abandon the man whose name is in the document, who's supposed to be the man to disburse this money. And we all, instead of encouraging him, 
we are not discouraging him. He's going to be very, very bad. He's very, going to be very, very bad because he is the man we know. Every other person are all fighters. You can't come out now to claim any other thing. Those who know what it is will understand what I'm talking about. It's not, it's, it's not possible. The reason we are not fighting him is what I don't know. And since you guys are not telling us anything, you are coming out now to all this you are telling us as they are all stories. They are all stories as much as I'm concerned. They are all stories. Stories that make no sense, that makes no meaning. But let me tell you, whether the UAG or the All Grand Pressure Group had to disperse this money, all I know, whether you source it from anywhere, all I know is that once disbursement is made from any angle, and my people did not get what belongs to them, you will not eat that money. You will never eat it and go free. No, you will vomit it. You will vomit it. I'm telling you this. So it doesn't matter where the money is coming from. What matters is UAAG we subscribe to and we need our money. Let us all support the UAAG management. Let us support all those who are fighting to see that this money comes. Let us support our country director, Apostle Ambassador Dr. Ken Wakama. Let us support him. And let nobody deviate again. Let nobody be gullible over this whole thing. Let nobody be sentimental. Let us face the reality. Let us give him that support and let this money come. By this week, call me if you want to support our press conference to plead to the government, to letting them know that this is what we are facing, to letting them know that we must put a stop to all these distractors, that for all, to all these uh, uh, petition writers, to all these uh, uh, the, whoever, whatever they are, gossipers who are moving up and down, truncating. They must stop it. And we must, if possible, at that press conference, if possible, record their names and tell the federal government to stay clear from these people. And once they see them, they should be arrested. They should be arrested. Enough should be caught enough. Which connection do you think you have? Which connection, which nonsense connection do you think you have? The connection you have is meager to what we the masses have. You never know where we are. You never know who we are. And by the time you know who we are, you will understand. Keep disgracing yourselves over there. Keep disgracing yourself over there. We have not seen the kind of people we have been trusting all these years. We have been trusting all this while, thinking they are for the masses. We never know that all this while we have been wasting our time. But there's no problem. We are coming. By the time we knock at your door, open it. And we shall tell you our story. Thank you. And I remain your leader, your great leader, Ambassador Dr. Pascal Anyaou. For now, I will say, let us maintain our peace as peacemakers we are. We are not fake people. We are not any help people. Let us maintain our peace as we wait. Because I know something good is fishing. I know something good is fishing. Since they couldn't end up yesterday, Friday, like I said earlier, I believe from Monday, from Monday, they will complete whatever they are doing. And we should be hopeful that something good is coming. I want to say, do have a lovely weekend. And may God bless our days. As we go, as we come, may God protect us. The evil ones will not see us. I want to appreciate the effort we all are making. The wonderful people are making. Those who stand for the truth are making. God bless you all. Thank you, all CEOs. Thank you, my Edas Forum. Thank you, all genuine grad fighters. Thank you for all those who are standing for the masses. May God bless you all. Do have a lovely day. Thank you.